All right, no, Chidi. Uh, Bishop, I, think, I, I know you want to say yes, something. Yes, I think yes. basically, Go ahead. that's why I said these matters are all matters of conjecture and in the rightful place. All these cases we are talking are appealed. They are still of execution. Mm. So, you know, the law is an ass. They, even that's why the Supreme Court can review herself. There was a law that brought Amesha as governor. Mm -hmm. The Supreme Court ended and said it should not be quoted anywhere. It's mm -hmm. not from the Supreme Court. And Amesha was governor. They didn't remove Amesha. No, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> no, Amesha was governor, yeah. but for them to say no lawyer should make reference to that particular matter. And in subsequent uh, judgments. judgments, they corrected it. Mm -hmm. Now, that's what they say that it's human to err, uh, it's divine to forgive. Now, most of this, I would not call, if you look at even the president, after I look at government election, when he came back from overseas and all these intercourt matters were before him, through his uh, spokesman, he said that the court has the uh, capacity to settle all these matters, but the IG should open up the place and give security to the newly elected people. That's wisdom he used. Because we have a system, and the judiciary is there to check the excesses of... Uh, even that's what assembly might have acted the extension in political interest. They could have acted otherwise and all that. This other group fighting with them, they are all politicians, even for the same family that have now separated. Mm -hmm. Everybody is doing what gives them an advantage. And they go to the court to, to, if they want to go that way. If today they decide to settle that matter out of court, sincerely, they will still bring it out and sit on the round table. And you see these people eating together. So for me, the process is that there is no statement. There is no stalemate. These old things are happening in a system. Now, that's why I said that it is the Supreme Court that finally will put pay. Just like this governorship thing, when you win an election, you see it is snowball. Even the case of the former governor, he lost in the uh, uh, tribunal. He lost in the appeal. It was the Supreme Court that brought him back. If he had lost the Supreme Court, who would have been governor? But a lot of things also went bad. The election was rigged. This was done. All these things were brought to the two courts that considered them. So for me, the, the legal process that we are mentioning, the judgments that came, they are not judgment of final this thing. They could be court, some even are coordinate jurisdiction pronouncements. But when, pending, I agree with you. But pending that. where but, that happens, mm -hmm. pending where that happens, there is already judgments that must be obeyed. No, that's what I'm telling you. Those judgments, judgments you are talking now. Was there any stay of execution? No, yes, those judgments, judgments you are talking now. When, uh, according to this man, what's his name, uh, Fem Falana, when somebody appeals a matter, mm. the matter becomes a matter until the higher court gives a judgment. Now, Fem Falana's statements cannot hold water. It's just no, no, what I'm trying to say. No, we are not show, talking about court now. What's the constitution? No, we are talking about processes. Mm. We are talking about mm -hmm. processes. Mm -hmm. When you have an appeal, I had a chairman that sometime for perjury also mm -hmm. was taking the call for perjury. Mm -hmm. At that level, he was convicted. Mm -hmm. He still stood an election when he appealed the matter. Mm -hmm. INEC still gave him this thing, a uh, form, mm -hmm. and he still uh, came back. Mm -hmm. So what we are trying to say is that it is, it is, it is, it is, it is discretionary. If somebody is, is already in the court and he has given a stay of execution, and, and which which now that's the question, uh, which stay of well, execution does the governor have? That's what I say. After that uh, case of don't give them allocation, uh -huh. and the Omoto Shores was the name. They said they appeal to Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Now it is the wisdom of all those litigation back forth. They were still these other people were still making reference to the one that brought a E and brought this other place. Though the judgment seem not to have favored this group, but they are still claiming legitimacy. Is there a stay of execution? That's my That's why they filed it. What I'm trying to say... It has to be approved or denied. Wait, nah, that's what Which I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Number one, they even said they gave a window. That's why they still gave the allocation. They gave a window of 90 days. If they appeal the, the, the judgment of the final court, which is going to put paid, whether I like it or not, in some what way, has not finally come up. The process is still on. Now, as the process is on, in the wisdom, mind you, people can still go to court to say, uh, why have you not executed this? The parties can still go to court. If they are not going to court, that is, the parties are not going to court, to completely do that, there must be something that we don't know. So yeah. that, that is why I keep saying that 
this is a whole gamut of processes. My, my, uh, my, my, my interest, my interest is, why well, I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. My interest is, pending when uh, Supreme Court gives judgments, mm -hmm. and pending when the, this special tribunal set up by the appeal court president also uh, consolidates this matter and also gives judgments, mm -hmm. the judgments that have been given so far, you said that the governor has day of execution on them. And I'm asking, which of the government ju judgments does the governor? No, have I didn't say the governor. I, I, didn't, I, see, I, I didn't say that. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't say the Let governor. Me I said that when they appealed mm -hmm. on the sideline, they still filed a stay of execution. Which Whether one? when you file stay, when you file stay of execution, uh, hold on, stay of execution can be approved by the court. Granted or not. Denied. That is what I'm telling you. Be, was it denied? That or is. Was it that's granted? what I'm telling you. I'm not the attorney general now of the, of the state. But what I tell you is that when those processes are given, in most cases, whether they do it quietly or there is a pronouncement, it can come to public notice. But what I know is that for the institutions that were being stopped to still be having uh, business, because governor will not go and sign money from the federation account. It has to be allocated. If the people that that judgment is supposed to be stopping have not, there will be something more to read. That's what let, I'm saying. Let, 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 let me come okay. now. There will be something more to read. And right. my business is not, the right thing uh, should it's be done. done yeah. That's my position. But again, in the case of uh, political matter, I was even thinking in the first place, why is it that the, the appeal court and even the chief justice set up an NJC panel separate from the appeal court president's owner? To say the what's the name the they, no hold the, on they, that is a different matter altogether. That one has they, to they, do with the judge the panel set up by Kekere Doom, mm -hmm. the CJN was to the Justice uh, Peter Lefo and uh, um, a justice of the Federal High Court that gave conflicting judgment mm -hmm. on River State local government elections mm -hmm. as we are summoned to the panel to come and defend their judgment, as well as the appeal court president of FCT, as to reasons why um, most of the river states court cases. Oh, is it the appeal cases, court president or the head of the high court? The federal high court. The federal, federal high court. court the sorry, thank you. The head mm -hmm. of the federal high court as to why most of these cases are brought to federal high court. Abuja. That's exactly that, the point uh, I'm talking. What you're doing now, uh, no, hold on, Bishop. You're bringing up... No, no, you know what I'm saying. No. no, 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 you know you what? You have spoken, on, hold on, you have spoken on the on the moratorium that allegedly the federal government gave to uh, um, uh, yeah. states in order to conduct election. Federal government has actually come out to say they didn't give they the didn't moratorium. Do that. They never did that. The federal government has they said did they did that. not give that moratorium. However... We, uh, we, it's a different conversation, entirely different no, no, no. conversation from river state politics. I'm not discussing local government allocation. Okay. I'm discussing river state politics, yes. what is being discussed currently. So you could talk about the river state local government election with regards to the tenure extension, which we have discussed. Okay. Yeah, so we are not going no, to... No, no, we, are, we, are talking, we are talking... The, they it's are, an entirely different thing. You know so that, we don't, uh, Loretta, this conversation is wide. So yes, so Loretta, they are interwoven. The interwoven. They have the allocation right now. What you're saying is not exactly interwoven. No, 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 no. No, the inter no, no. I don't even have business allocation. I'm right. not. I don't. You're talking about the federal government. No, the federal uh, government. What I'm talking, I'm talking about. No, government. I'm talking about like you said, mm. uh, court judgments All right. and their implementation or their non-implementation. Let's narrow it down to reverse. Now that's why I mean the reverse yeah. state is the is yeah. the is the high point of it. Now there's mm. no other uh, state that the allocation has been stopped or local government elections apart from Kano. Mm. that we are also taking to court. They stopped it, they stopped that. The reverse state matter, what I said is that still went back the pres uh, to the president's attention. Where he, from his spokesman, he didn't deny it, say, he said that the courts are the competent places to exhaust whatever is happening. They, they, should, they should operate the way they are. Mm. That statement alone is enough for anybody to be giving them money. Because the president, if he says stop, he signs that thing to say, CBN stop allocation today, uh, central bank don't give this, they will not give. But in his own wisdom, perhaps he knew that at the end of the day, maybe retrospectively or otherwise, 
there will be categorical statements. So to allow governance not to be stalled, even he, he has, he has he, in his wisdom, he has given that statement. We gave a backing. Do you know that during the transition committee, as the caretaker committee, the councils were not open. Because of most of this uh, litigation and the interpretation, that's what the IG said. They were there for about three months. It was after this... It wasn't because of the litigation. The IG said to avoid further breakdown of law and... No, no, the IG also you, said you that... Remember, hold on. Because you remember the uh, altercation that happened um, yeah. on the day the tenure of the outgoing local ch government chairman ended because they refused to go basing their argument on the local government extension by the River exactly. State House of Assembly. However, the IGP said that he told the police to, to barricade all the secretary, local government secretariat in order to protect life and property. And he said that the police will only leave these secretariats when election is done. That's what he said. And after the election was done, the IGP told the police to vacate in order to uh, allow the newly elected to, local government chairman. Without continuation, I want you to go back to the IGP statement again. That time, mm -hmm. the IGP is spokesperson. Mm -hmm. that we went as far as saying there are litigations until they are dispensed with, they will know who are the right people. The controversy first was these people claiming it has ended. What they created is legit. This one was saying it is not, they are the people. All right. So they were all conjecture of already ongoing mm. cases. And they came, this particular uh, extension, there was a court in River State that ruled against it. Justice Wally. Yes, that ruled against it. Mm -hmm. That, you know, it was wrong it and all that and all that. So that gave impetus to also the other side. Are you aware there was an appeal court that upturned that? That's what I'm telling you. Before the appeal court upturned, it took some time. So what we are saying that is an inter interplay of All right. uh, politics or the judiciary and whatever was coming. That is why I said the end case and the end point would be what the Supreme Court is doing now. Right. To come out and nail all this. That is if there are no political solutions mm -hmm. or judicial uh, solution from the back door to look at them. Because in all these things, there are people who have interest. And these people who have interest are big players. They are the people even behind the scene, pushing all these other things. We don't know how they are delaying. So we don't need to bother ourselves about it. All right. I'm not a CJ. She should do what is right. I'm not a uh, Minister of Finance. She should do what is right. But if something is happening behind the scene, then we have the system uh, to blame. All right, very well. Well, we don't need peace. Cheesy, uh, you wanted to say something. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, you see, when they say, you know, you were asking Bishop whether there was any stay of execution, stay of execution he didn't answer that tactically because there, there was no stay of execution. And again, the first thing is. But that was a request for stay. Yes, the fact that you requested does not mean that it's given. Somebody told me they've granted it. All right, hold no, on. No, no somebody in government said they've granted hold it. On. I don't know. No, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. I have a guest on my show who, when we were discussing River State Voter <laughs> Register, I remember that I did a series okay. prior to that election. I was asking RISEC directly, where is the voter register? How come you're about to conduct elections without a voter That's register? RISEC. Yes, RISEC. My job is to ask questions that are not comfortable for the government. That's my job. Okay. I'm a journalist. I am not to play um, all that. Now, moving forward, after my guest came on that show and spoke, you know, spoke so passionately and condemned the fact that RISEC was going to hold elections without a voter register, after my show, he still came back to my show the next time he was invited to say that after that show, he received a call from government house. And they were explaining to him how they were going to run with the voters' register and all that. And on the third day of that series, the research chairman had to come out to address that matter. And he said he had the voter register that he got in 2023, which is not my business because the question is, what does the constitution say about how you obtain well, the voter register? Now, you're saying again, just like they told my, um, my guest, they have also told you that from the government house as well. And this is the government house, please. <laughs> okay, they have also told you that, you can say from that, the grave, on, that they have... You can say from the grave Now, fire. let me inform you. Uh, when the, uh, the uh, Justice Peter Lefou of Federal High Court, you barred INEC from releasing voter register to RISEC okay. and also barred the police from and other security agencies from participating in the local government elections, the government
governor went to appeal the matter and applied for stay of execution of that judgment. He did. He did apply and it was denied. And after it was denied, I recall and that. And appeal. Yes, he went to appeal court, mm -hmm. appealed the judgment of Justice Peter Lefo, and also applied for a stay of execution of that judgment in order to go ahead with the elections. And that stay of execution was denied. So I I, I I am trying. That was why oh, I kept. That was why. I, that's why. I, hold on, the matter is still on. Okay. Right, and that's why I kept asking you which stay of execution, which stay. No, no, no. Let me 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 Assuming without even conceding, because I want us to take off these things, there are three uh, provisions of the law that we need to consider. Number one, the law says that no state of the country can have, no, all the states will have a minimum of 20, 25 lawmakers. Mm. Meaning that if you come to River State, for instance, now, and they do not have a 25 lawmakers, that lawmaker does not exist. No, I, call, can I kiss me, sir? Let him have his say. Let him have his say. Let me finish. No, let him have his say. Go ahead, Chisi. They said so. That means that no state, state can exist, in, can be created in Nigeria that will not have tw the minimum of 25... 24. Uh, 24 um, legislative. legislative constituencies. State okay. constituencies, okay. number one. Number two of the constitution. The constitution says... You, we, you cannot pass an appropriation law without a two-third majority. Number three is that you cannot even seek for business of the assembly without a one-third majority. Now, what that means, if you look at the community of this whole thing, it means that, for instance, assuming, God forbid, that the whole of the 27 law lawmakers were dead or they resigned, that the three members or the four members assembly do not have legal right to even seek. What the governor will do is to write the national assembly who will bring the national assembly to come and uh, uh, dwell on our legislation until a, uh, a, by, a by election is conducted to fill in those vacancies. So assuming that the, 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 the governor who is, who is now the judge, the prosecutor and everything, that feels that the 27 lawmakers are no longer lawmakers. And as such, he will not present his budget to them. He doesn't also know that those three persons cannot seek to consider those things. So shouldn't he have written them? And then, then we now know whether they will come or not, assuming that. So if you take it this other way, he's wrong. You take it the other way, he's wrong. That's why I said he's the architect of the, the crisis. I don't know no I wonder. To this. No on. wonder I can say that we can brought the man who does not know anything around it to become governor. Because if he knows, he'll know that the best thing for him to do is to write the National Assembly to bring those things. He knows that he cannot present something to, to a three-man legislator that he kept in government house. He knows that there's a separation of power that the government, that the Assembly cannot sit in government house. So I don't understand why we think that he is not the architect of this crisis. So for me, I would take the architect from him to root it to Wike who brought him. That's what I'm saying. It. Because you see, Lorisha, you may laugh at this, but let me tell you why. Each time you stay and you can speak and you can talk to them, you can say no or yes. A governor who knows that he has immunity cannot stand before the president and say, President number one, see, as a governor, as a person, in that eight point agenda, I will tell the president, uh, yes, let's see, this, num this number two or three, which is recalling back the commissioners, so I will not recall those who resign. I will ask the, those who nominated them to go to the same constituency and nominate people, but I will not bring this, I will say it. Because you know why? I will not. Because if they come back, they will not give me that respect as governor. I will not, I will not accept that. So he will, not, he will say yes. That's why I know him. Now he's saying yes, yes, yes. Everything is yes, yes, yes. He goes back to do the same thing. The same person who they are saying that, oh, now how can you bring somebody to become local government? In this, they are, in this, they are club election that they did. He was the person who was dominating, who is, because he's APP now. He was the person who was dominating, who is going to be go for this, assembly, this uh, uh, councillor and chairman in all the local government, in government house. That's why the election started and ended in government house. All right. Bishop, if you could. Well, I, do, I told you, you really that. I, to say something. Go I, ahead. I told you that I'm not going to these internal matters of legal jurisprudence 
or that there are people who are paid in air condition offices who are enjoying <laughs> and I'm sweating here your stupid. So <laughs> it does not it, it does not add anything to me because at the end of the day the law will take its course. Mm. So I'm happy about that. But you see, at times we need to also make let's not uh how will I put it? Uh, let's not take a final position for so reason. We need to do research. I learn every day right. because I'm a researcher. I want to really know the matters because I told you a personal experience I had with a chairman who had a case of perjury. Mm. And even when, without even stuff execution, when he appealed, he was still given the leeway to contest an election mm. because it was ongoing. Mm. The Superior High Court had not come with the judgment. So and I need to be clarified about that because if it's consistently going on, and institutions that should honor such things. What, what and, exactly are, are you saying? What I'm saying is that when a matter, a judgment has been given, and even a story of victory is given, maybe it has not been granted, but an appeal has been entered. You understand? What happens to the judgment? You understand? Whether it could be executed or not. That's what I mean. It needs to be, you need to ask a legal person, not by assumption. Because in many cases, it's not only in the governor's case. In many of other civil cases, it has happened like that until the Supreme Court. So there must be let's, let's, there, uh, there let, must be something about. Let's it. just um, with what you let's just uh, use a very simple uh, analogy to simplify it. Let's say you're my landlord, Bishop. No, no, no. Can you allow me? Let me finish. You, you, you round okay, up my ahead, landlord. Go ahead. Now, no, I was actually going to ask you a question. So you marry everything together. Yeah, we we'll do that in closing. <laughs> okay, go now, ahead. Now the other one I'm talking about this particular case of these legislators. Mm. There is one thing that Chizzy has not mentioned at all, which is in serious contention, though the appeal calls and all that have also not addressed it, mm -hmm. is the fact of the legitimacy of the 27. Okay. Where, where people have said they moved from Patrick when there was no crisis, and that some lawyers have said, Sam, citizen Sam have said, this particular is self-executory. And fam, fam, uh, many lawyers came to say, if the assembly, for instance, for any reason of sort, there are assumed to be vacancy, the remaining people become the assembly. Now, they become the assembly and they can sit. You quoted no. Temi Falana. No, no, not, no. Not, are you aware no. that not, not the just, person you're quoting is actually no. one of uh, the lawyers representing? No, not Femi Falana. Are, are you no. aware? Recently, so he's speaking from no, the point no, of interest. No, no, recently, so you can't a, no. Femi Falana no, recently, a, a Queen's Council, I can show you on my phone. Mm -hmm. Recently, a mm -hmm. Queen's Council mm -hmm. of more than 40 years standing. Mm -hmm. It was not, for, from these uh, matters of River State concerning. Was the this in a junction? The, the judgment on allocation all that. The, he came and he's not even a politician. He mm -hmm. came and did a synopsis of it. He did not run away from this in fact. Mm. So between the legal space, there are people who are standing to say the the minority uh, persons mm. are not uh, illegitimate apart from even court pronouncement as a result of the decision taken by the 27th. I've been mm. issue. Right now, they are even running in and out within uh, the camp. With the camp. Even that is another conjecture. So for me, that's why I said, at the end of the day, eh, let the people that is their business to look whatever has been brought before them. Do it and remove this thing from right. us. We'll come right. and talk better uh, things. Uh, Bishop Ibioku, on my show, I will <laughs> tell you one thing, one thing very clearly. On my show, you're laughing already. I've never said anything. <laughs> I don't want to say <laughs> you know You're in charge. You're preacting <laughs> You're in charge. <laughs> but, however, on my, on my show, uh, sincerely, um, I, I do not really accept... Interjection. No, not that. When you, maybe you say... Uh, uh, a legal practitioner of 70 mm. years experience, so, so and so counsel, so so and so person, regardless of how popular you are, mm -hmm. regardless of uh, the kind of name you are, you have, okay. I don't, I am uninterested about that. They cannot be quoted as authority on my show. Yes, they cannot. It is their opinion which can be biased, which can be from a place of interest I respect as that. well. So what's counts on my show is what does the constitution say what does the constitution provide so i would rather you base your argument from the angle no, of no, the but law, you also or you can also come from the angle of sentiment from the angle of, yeah, of moral justice, yeah, yeah, uh, justice yeah. and all of mm -hmm. that I, but don't quote um persons as authority 
on my show, you know, like if you're if you're doing projects, yeah. they'll tell you in your bibliography, you're, you write out the people or yeah, yeah, see, the I authors see, see. of the books. You um, in my I own understand. show, it doesn't yeah. fly. So that because people will run ahead and said, oh, so so and so said so. I would rather people say the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria said so because the show is actually intended to educate people they write. Better. No, I think you know this show in Shannon, what uh, she is doing. Why my show is different. No, what, what I'm trying to say, no, no. Different. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Even when you say so, your yeah, show is not a court of law. Mm -hmm. So it's still a public discourse. Mm -hmm. Now in the public discourse, mm -hmm. there are people by the attainment mm -hmm either academically or by professional advancement, they have become authorities of their own. And even when they speak, even judges correct themselves. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily when they go to law court. Mm -hmm. That's why there is legal jurisprudence. Mm -hmm. So what we do is that if legal jurisprudence is enriched today mm -hmm. by way of contribution of either authors, not mm -hmm. necessarily people went to court mm -hmm. and they have come out with a position, mm -hmm. it could still be made reference to, mm -hmm. but not necessarily... I can actually... You quoted Femi Falana. Uh, hold on. Now, and I remind them... Now, hold on. Hold no, on. No, no, Just, besides, Bishop, hold on. <laughs> you quoted Femi Falana. Uh, now, and I told you Mm -hmm. Femi Falana is speaking from a point of interest. Now, one would say, you are a journalist. Why would you say that Femi Falana is a name that is known? Femi Falana is not the grand nom mm -hmm. of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So even if he comes on my show, I'll look him in the eyes and ask him questions based on of what course, the Constitution says. That's a job. I, I don't care about the name, actually. Yeah. So that is my job. And but I reminded you that, that the person whom you're quoting Probably you were not aware. Mm. Is also uh, a lawyer representing no, I, one of the parties. I did not so quote that man. No, I did not quote that man alone. <laughs> I quoted the Queen's Counsel, who I told you that recently. You didn't quote. You didn't say the name. No, I told you. The no, the, name? Yes, the name. So you not, see that wait, quotation. No, wait, 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 no, the name. No, I'm not familiar right. with. But okay. I told you I can make reference. I will send to you. Now mm. it was a full. It was not just what comes to do today. I, I really. It was a full analysis. Okay. No, no. The point I'm making is that. Mm. In a small, if we close our eyes concerning this with several legislators to say it is just line who can sink out the way they are from beginning. Along the line of this crisis, mm. things happened and the other party also yeah. took advantage. All right. And even the courts made pronouncement. Right. Though, as they are going higher, they are reviewing them. They are reviewing themselves. So, there is no way you can look at it in isolation. Mm. That's right. exactly well. what I'm trying to well. Chizzy, what do you have to say as we round up? Okay, let me, let me see that. And also touch on the... I think I actually want you to respond. With on the 27th? Yes, exactly. First is that there's no court that made pronouncement on the 27th because if a court lacks jurisdiction, every pronouncement of the court does not hold water because if a, a state high court that do not have jurisdiction over that makes a pronouncement, it is to its extent non and void. That's number one. Number two is that there's 27 demand the Queen's Council who wrote would have written on the basis of if somebody defects to another political party. So the person didn't come to ask whether this would defected or not. Mm. And this person didn't defect. So I wouldn't quote the person wrongly for saying if somebody defects. Because the person would have been fed by the information that somebody defected. The person is in, in England writing here, isn't it? But we are saying that the 27 lawmakers did not defer to any political party, neither did they resign from any political party. The PDP said they didn't resign. I am APC. I am saying that I have a member of the assembly, uh, one of the members of the assembly, who is from my own world, who had never attended, has not come, and, it, and you only enter a political party if you come to register in the unit or world. Okay. And these people didn't do that. So there is no case of whether they have resigned or not resigned. We have an affidavit in the court that uh, they, they, they the was, yes, yes. The affidavit sir, is not more important than according to the local sir, government. Sir, yes, it's not. We are talking about law. The no, affidavit. No, no, it's not. You swear to. It's not more important than no, 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 no. take a card. Yes, that is what they can do. Sir, sir. The affidavit is what not as strong, about? sir. The affidavit is not as strong as coming to register. Then why did they allow me to say something? Case. I will not allow you something. Now. Allow me. We are, oh, we are, we are, we are, we are out of time. Okay. Actually.